Out of 10, on a scale of importance, what would you rate for a small grain of sand? Probably something like 0.00001. In a general context, no one can think of a small grain of sand to tell something. Of course, it is too tiny to tell anything. But can you even imagine a small grain of sand and opening a gateway to new trends regarding the scientific research carried out for the moon? This is Earthy Perks, with an episode that is full of shocking revelations. Throwback to 1972, when Apollo 17 came back after a successful mission. This time, they didn't come alone. Rather, they brought something extraordinarily convictional. NASA sent their last team of astronauts to the moon. These astronauts brought some of the moon back to Earth, so scientists could continue to study lunar soil in their labs. Their technique can help us learn more about conditions on the surface of the moon and formation of precious resources like water and helium there. Scientists applied a novel technique to the sand sample for analyzing it and to make their final verdict. This technique has such high sensitivity and resolution. You can find things you wouldn't find otherwise and only use a small bit of the sample. The technique is called atom probe tomography or APT. The Apollo 17 sample contains 111 kilograms, 245 pounds, of lunar rocks and soil. For applying the technique, scientists only required one single grain of soil, about as wide as a human hair. In that tiny grain, they identified products of space weathering, pure iron, water, and helium that formed through the interactions of the lunar soil with the space environment. Extracting these precious resources from lunar soil could help future astronauts sustain their activities on the moon. To study the tiny grain, a focused beam of charged atoms was used to carve a tiny, super sharp tip into its surface. Once the sample was inside the atom probe, it was zapped with a laser to knock atoms off one by one. As the atoms flew off the sample, they struck a detector plate. Heavier elements, like iron, take longer to reach the detector than lighter elements, like hydrogen. By measuring the time between the laser firing and the atom striking the detector, the instrument is able to determine the type of atom at that position and its charge. Finally, the data was reconstructed in three dimensions, using a color-coded point for each atom and molecule to make a nanoscale 3D map of the moon dust. Studying soil from the moon's surface gives scientists insight into an important force within our solar system, space weathering. Space is a harsh environment, with tiny meteorites, streams of particles coming off the sun, and radiation in the form of solar and cosmic rays. While Earth's atmosphere protects us from space weathering, other bodies like the moon and asteroids don't have atmospheres. As a result, the soil on the moon's surface has undergone changes caused by space weathering, making it fundamentally different from the rock that the rest of the moon is composed of. It's kind of like a chocolate-dipped ice cream cone. The outer surface doesn't match what's inside. With APT, scientists can look for differences between space-weathered surfaces and unexposed moon dirt in a way that no other method can. By understanding the kinds of processes that make these differences happen, they can more accurately predict what's just under the surface of moons and asteroids that are too far away to bring to Earth. Hence proved, even the smallest of grains of moon dust has a lot to reveal. Till the next episode, stay tuned and keep watching Earthy Perks. The one you trust to reveal every bit of information for you.